there's not many places in Western Australia like Katanning. It's a modern town which celebrates its history and its culture. We just do it so well. <laughs> I'm first generation Cocos Malay, so mum and dad, they were from Cocos Island um, and they came to Katanning in 1976. People from all over the place, including my parents, they came to Katanning to um, actually work at the abattoirs. That was brave of them. You know, I, I can't imagine doing that myself. It was a big culture shock for them because, um, you know, they didn't speak any English. There was a big um, language barrier, and but they had that support from the Katanning community. So they kind of introduced our culture, what we wear, our food, our religion. So when I was growing up, it was normal to everybody and I felt, I felt normal, so I didn't feel any different. And when you come to Katanning, you feel a sense of belonging through food and all the different cuisines that we have and 17 different places of worship, such as the mosque and the churches. If you want all these different types of food, you can get it at the Harmony Festival. So you can get Malay food, you can get Italian, you can get South African food. Everybody comes for the food. And then the entertainment, people showcase their um, music, people showcase their outfits, and people showcase their dancing. So that's what Katani is. You just feel welcome and you feel involved and you feel like, you know, part of the community, no matter where you're from. <laughs>